Welcome to 126, General Nutrition. When you open up your course, this is what you should see, basically. You'll see announcements, and this may change um, depending on what's going on in the semester. I get actually get to see you guys once a week, which is great. So I'll make some announcements then, but sometimes I need to remind you, or sometimes I'll actually post announcements before you come to class, reminding you to bring your lab or your um, safety equipment for lab, and so I'll put things here. But right now, it's asking you about your textbook, which um, I will show you when I see you in lab, but I want to make sure you get the right one. So that's what this information is about. Then we have my dogs down here who may or may not stay there for the duration of the course, but they're there for now. So to get started, let's click into your course information. I'm not going to have a chance to go over the lecture information for um, in lab because we do have a lab to do on Monday, so I want to make sure I do it now. So here's your course syllabus, which is the most important one. Course outline, you don't, you don't really need it as much. You're not going to, as a reference, but course syllabus you do need. So that's there. You can click into that and review it. There's me. Here's my... Um, office number, my office hours, which are, I'm only on campus on Mondays and Fridays, but I can also make other arrangements if you want to email me and we can set up something. So that's there. Email. I check my email at least once a day. On Mondays and Fridays, I check it much more frequently because I'm in my office. But don't panic if you send me an email and I don't get to it at least 24 hours or more later because if I checked my email in the morning and or in the evening and then I don't get around to it to the next one and then you sent it like right after I checked it, then it's just going to get missed. So don't panic. I can always adjust due dates. Okay, so let's go into the week by week and see how this whole thing is going to work. Week one. So, first thing you have to do is read your chapter. Only chapter one this week. It's a light chapter. Um, some good information in there, but not a lot of it. I give you the PowerPoint and the outline for the chapter. Do not consider these to be exhaustive information of everything you have to know for this chapter. What I recommend you use these for are places to take the notes on as you read your chapter. So there's more information you need from the chapter, put it on these, one or the other. Then you're going to always have a quiz to take. Your quizzes are 10 multiple choice questions. They're going to appear one at a time. Once you've seen the question, you need to answer it and move on. You're not going to be able to go back. You have 15 minutes to take your quiz and then it's going to auto submit. Um, if you want to finish earlier, then go ahead and hit the submit button. I highly recommend that you take your quizzes on campus or someplace else that you know you have a reliable internet connection. I will reset a quiz for you once in the semester um, on the basis of failed network connection. But after a while, it gets pretty fishy, saying you still have another internet connection. And by the way, um, the quizzes aren't the same. They come out of a pool of questions, so everybody's quiz is different every time. All right. Then your assignments for each week are always due 10 p.m. the Monday following when they are submitted, when they're given to you. So you have about eight days to submit them. That's a long time. So plan accordingly. Don't make it a rush deal. Try and give yourself plenty of time to get it done. You, with your text textbook purchased from the library, will get an access code for Wiley Plus. You need it in order to have access to, let me show you, some additional ancillary materials, which will give you, oh, this is not going to work. Hold on a minute, which will give you, 
I have to get out of student preview for a minute so that I can get into Wiley Plus without a question. We'll give you nice descriptive animations on things that you need to learn, like nutrient absorption. The small intestine See? is the primary site of absorption. So, like that. The other thing that you need Wiley Plus for are, is access to iProfile. And iProfile you will be taking quizzes on and those quizzes do count towards your grade. I will go over iProfile in more detail um, in the lab. For the first 14 days, access to Wiley Plus is free. It's a grace period, but then it's going to ask you to pay up. So you'll either have your access code that came with the textbook that you purchased at the library or at the bookstore, I'm sorry, or you can purchase Wiley Plus access codes through Blackboard. Um, and it'll, when you try to click into one, it'll just ask, ask you for your access code. Okay, lab. This is important. Your lab manual. You don't have to purchase it. It is given into parts, part A and part B. Part A, right here, lab one. You're doing it next week. You need to bring copies of your labs with you to lab each week so that you have them to fill out and collect data. And you're going to do lab write ups or you just hand in the lab or you'll have a quiz, something. We'll talk about that in lab, but you need this lab one to bring with you to lab next week. Print it out, please. Okay, so that will get you started and ready, that's not what I wanted, to be seen in class, in lab, next week. Thanks.